Everywhere we read online is saying engineering jobs are in danger. Software engineers will not be required in the next five years. But in this video, I'm going to show you how that is not the case. In fact, in the next five years, engineering jobs are going to explode, but not in the way you think it is. So yeah, let's dive into the video. In economics, there is a term called Zevon's paradox. Zevon's paradox in economics means if the price for something decreases, the demand for it increases with time. As we have seen in batteries, as the price decreases for manufacturing of more batteries, we saw how cheaper it became to buy electric cars. Similarly, we have seen this in electricity. As it decreases the price to produce more electricity, now the demand for it is huge. Also, we have noticed this in internet. Initially, the internet was very expensive and as you can see the graph of it, as the prices of internet kept going down, the demand for it is all time high. And this will keep on happening. And this is what in economics called at Zevon's paradox. Now in terms of software, now we know with AI, the creation of the software will reduce its pricing, but that means the demand for it will become much more higher. The demand for it will increase exponentially, which means there will be more engineers required to maintain these codes. There will be more software required than ever before. And this will keep on growing. There is no trend which will show us that the software is going down. Making process is becoming easier. That means the demand will become much more higher. New tech startups will emerge. There will be people who never would have thought of starting their software companies are right now starting their companies. They are coming to a conclusion that yes, with tools like Lovable, Bolt New or these where they can just talk to AI to produce these softwares, they are reaching to that level where mockups are easy, where they have a basic built-in prototype which they can share to their customers. Now, once they want to grow these products into bigger products, they will need real engineers to work on them. But the thing is, the new software development or the new way of coding, which is now evolving, will use a lot of AI. So here is one demo. I'm currently working on this uh, new tool which I have to create. I'm working on my project which is post handle and there is this section which is called as what's new. And I want to publish uh, change logs, whatever my users can see like what new changes I have made on my project. Now, instead of writing this by myself, I am thinking of leveraging AI for that. How it will work is because I do write good commits for all the things which I'm pushing out. Sometimes those commits include front end changes, which are relevant to the user. Sometimes those are like back end changes or security changes. So I'm writing a service, a kind of a tool where it will go to my GitHub, check how every day it will check like how many commits I have made in that day and how many of them are relevant to the user change, which can be written as a feature log, which users might be interested in. So these days I'm not even touching my keyboard anymore. I just talk to my system. It writes the prompt and AI writes the code. So here I'll show you how it works. Write a service layer, which will be talking to GitHub using an access token. I will be passing the access token via post authorization header and that will be passed to my tool call. The tool call will make a call to the commit history on the repo, which has been passed at, on the body. So as you can see, I just speak to my Willow voice. I haven't written any code and I'll just press. I do one, one key press, which is pressing on enter. And here I'm using Claude Force on it. One of the best coding model out there right now. And now, now I just wait for AI to finish. So meanwhile, my tool is working on producing my code for me. Well, it's a modern way of software development. Let me also tell you like how you recently heard about OpenAI buying Windsurf. Now Windsurf, we all know is like similar to what Cursor is. So Windsurf, like they kind of forked the VS Code open code and they wrote a small wrapper on top of it, which is uh, included with all these LLM APIs. Now you can write code with that. Now I was thinking, Open AI where they're saying software jobs are going down and now AI can do everything. AI has the AGIs around the corner. Why do they need to pay $3 billion to buy a software? On the one hand, they are buying all these bigger companies with billions of dollars of software tools. Versus on the other hand, they are advocating that now software jobs are going down. So, I mean, this doesn't add up, right? So there is also this factor of reliability. How much do I rely on this code? On that, I have another thing to say. So when I, when I talk about how, why software engineering jobs are going to explode, because the trust on AI is very unreliable at this point. I was just browsing through Twitter and I found out Peter Levels, one of the most like top indie hackers of all time, 
uh, he posted that he was migrating some images from his S3 bucket to R2 bucket, R2 like it's in Cloudflare and he asked AI to write this wipe code that script for him. AI wrote the code and after that he wanted to confirm with AI like did you write the perfect code. AI said yes I have written the perfect code here and he did ask AI multiple times. But in the end, what he found out was whole terabytes of his data was corrupted because in the end, the AI has written the wrong slugs on each uh, image. And luckily, uh, in his case, he had a backup. So he, if things were working smoothly for him. This raises a big question here. This is just a small side project with which he is working on. What if the same thing is happening on a on an aviation system, on a system where human lives are at danger, where uh, monetary uh, dangers are there, where transactions, m banking, what happens in all those cases? And this phase where we are going through, this is a phase where AI is showing how we cannot trust it blindly. And that's why we need these guardrails, we need these engineers to always look out for what AI is doing. And that's why the demand for good quality engineers is going to explode in the coming five years. Okay, so with one just single big prompt, the code is written. Now I need to just check it if it's working or not. Uh, for that, we will be doing yarn. So I just ran the first version of this tool and I see I the job was done. And then I then checked what the job work was. It returned that there was no commits. Repository name is this and date is this. Now, the, I think the commits are working fine. Okay, so if I see, I'm getting a lot of uh, commits uh, here, bump version. And then there is ensure binary can be run directly from this a SVG illustration and update page layout. So while my code is updating this thing, uh, let me introduce you to this new tool which I'm currently using, which is called Willow Voice. So it's a it's a Mac native app, which is I'm currently using to talk to my mic and write all the code, all the text which you can see here. The speed at which I'm writing right now, word per minute, is around 160. Even on my good days when I'm typing, my speed reaches to around 100 on good days. So obviously it is much more productivity boost if you just talk instead of type. Yeah, it's pretty handy. And what I have done is I have enabled a hotkey with control. So yeah, check out the link in my description. And if you subscribe, I get 113, you get 113. Well, we both win. So yeah, let's go into what our code has done now. Perfect. Now our commits are coming in a string and they are part of a result object, which is also what we asked for. This is the best and total commits are 23 date is 28 5 2025 which is today and since and until time range is also given amazing like <laughs> within like 5 10 minutes by talking to a computer I have written this service perfect so I have passed this call to our new endpoint let's see if our job ID is working here yes now I mean when there will be no such updates I will be updating the prompt to say no no update for today so the AI change log will return false basically so I can show the user that only the changes on the days where it happened so there nothing happened on this day so here it is uh, this is how we have created a completely new tool uploaded it onto server and now we have an API endpoint where I can pass a github token and a repository name and it will return a human readable very nice change log to us i will be incorporating this api endpoint into my post handle app on the what's new section with a nice ui so i can show to the users what new changes are happening so that was about it and finally i'm concluding like ai jobs are going to explode uh, you will be doing a lot more such things this is one of the thing which would have taken me weeks but now i could do it in like 15 20 minutes which leaves me a lot of room to fix you know 20 other things or add 20 new features gives me kind of superpowers i feel with all these ai capabilities i have 10 20 stickers as you can see there i have some stickers here i can pick them up and publish them and these kind of engineers uh, people who are ready to commit sit on a chair talk to ai and build things i mean people like you are really needed so keep learning keep coding keep building things are going to get a lot more fun in the future i'll be seeing you in the next one thank you for watching this video bye bye so i was just working and i found out this tweet if you can see it on my screen so this guy judah damon he's like a computer scientist and this is his take on wipe coding let me just read it out so wipe coding enables people who aren't well-trained computer scientists to create complete working applications. 
Is this a breakthrough? Not even close. There have been such tools since the late 1980s. See for example, Apple HyperCard, Cyberbase, Power Builder, Macromedia, Visual Basics, Rational Rows and other model driven development. Tools IBM Visual is, any of course. They all broke down when anything slightly complicated or unusual needs to be done. Just as wipe coding does. The only difference is that the outputs of those older tools were actually deterministic and well documented and understood, while your AI prompts and models are not. To claim that wipe coding will replace software engineers, one must be ignorant of the 40 year history of such tools, or two, have no understanding of how AI works, or three, have no real computer science education and experience, and four, all of the above, or most importantly, be someone trying to sell something and make money off the wipe coding fad. So, I mean, when someone with such a decade long experience in this industry is saying something like this, we should definitely be listening to that. And this is the whole point of this video that no, software engineers are not going anywhere. They are in high demand. They will be in high demand. So yeah, keep skilling yourself and yeah, let's get back to this work now.